In the previous video we added sound effects to our game and in this one we will make a simple save and load system for the high score which will appear at the end of our level. So let me show you how it's gonna work. So if we go to our win panel now, uh, let's select the canvas here, go to win panel and select the score text here. So when the player gets the high score, this text will change to high score, otherwise it will be the same. So let's go to the game manager script and here inside of game completed we will check if the current score is greater than the high score saved. So a score greater than player prefs dot get integer and here we will set the key to high score and set the default value to 0 if there is no high score saved. So inside this we will change the high score text to let's just copy and paste this high score text here and let's just name this to high score and also put a else here so if the score is not greater than high score then we will print out the same score text plus the actual score and that's it so let's go back inside of unity and now let's hit play here so now if let me just collect these stars and try to finish the game so currently the high score should be 0 by default and when we finish the game it should print the high score and it does Awesome, so now our high score is set to 20. Let's try and finish this game with a score less than 20. I can do this one more try. Okay, well it's my game, I can do whatever I want to do. So let's change the player position and place it somewhere else. Because it's fair play, right? My game, my rules. Let's place this here. Now let's try to finish the game. So our high score is 20 and my current score is 0. Let's try to collect this one star here and I can't read this. Just leave it and see if it's working now. Okay so yeah it works. Can I get a better score than 20? I can actually I just need to change the player position again. Um, let's change the player position and let's it Let's select the player and let's place it here above these two stars and now if we hit play. Okay so now I got the high score. Let's try to finish this game and our high score was set to 20. It should print high score and it does. Cool so now the only thing left here is um, yeah I think we just need to add the menu for our game to finish things off. Now let's go to the scenes in the assets folder, go to scenes and right click here. Let's find the scene, where is it? Let's rename this to menu. Let's open it up. Okay, so this is fairly empty scene here. Go to hierarchy and let's make a UI. So right click and create a canvas for our menu. Inside this canvas, let's create an image. And straight this to all sides so it fits our canvas. Let's also rename this to BG for background. And inside this BG, let's create a text and call this title. Now let's change the anchor position of our text here. And also let's make it a whole lot bigger. And I've come up with a very cool title for our game. Guess what? Jumpy guy. I know, right? So let's change this to bold and hit best fit here. Also change this alignment to center. And increase the max size of our title. Cool. So now let's add a button here. Let's rename this to I think uh, play button. And also let's make it a lot bigger because it will be the only button in the whole menu. And yeah we need to change the color too to make it visible. Now select the text on this button, change the text here to play and also let's change the color to white and hit the best fit here. 
also change this to bold and we will increase the max size a bit awesome so now our menu is somewhat ready so let's go to our canvas and make a menu script okay so while we are here let's change this constant pixel size to a screen to a scale with the screen size so this doesn't happen so let's change this to 1920 by 1080 or whatever resolution or screen size you're using so and let's make it 0 0.5 awesome so our menu is ready now let's go to our menu script and here we will include the scene management so unity engine dot scene management and let's remove both these start and update method because we won't need them and let's make a new public method let's call this play and inside of this we will write scene manager dot load scene and the scene we want to load here is 1 because we will place our main level to at the index of 1 so let's go back now let's go to file go to build settings and here let's click this add open scenes now let's drag the menu to the top okay so now our menu is at 0 and our level is at 1 awesome so let's find our play button and here let's add a on click event and drag and drop our canvas into this and let's find the function that we created for this menu script play and let's start the game now let's hit play and yeah our scene loads up and everything is working awesome so let's go back and let me just quickly change one thing here in the game manager and here we will change the index to 1 because our scene is at 1 now so yeah let's go back well actually let's let's not hardcore this and let's just get the current scene or whatever scene we are actually working on so inside of this we will type in so scene manager dot get active scene and the build index of our active scene here and it will always return whatever level that is currently active so yeah we don't need to change anything let's go and try this out now let's hit play okay if we just die and restart our scene loads up cool so yeah congratulations we have completed our game thanks all for watching and if you have any questions regarding any of the videos you can comment them down also if you want me to make another complete game series like this you can just comment down in the comment section also and yeah subscribe my channel for more videos like this one until next time see ya